The hardest part about writing Luke Combs' hit song, Beer Never Broke My Heart, was trusting what they were hearing. Songwriter Jonathan Singleton talked to Taste of Country about the process. You gotta be careful with guys like Luke, because everything he sings sounds great. You know what I mean? So it's like, is, is that really a great line, or is he just singing the crap out of it? You know what I mean? Singleton, Combs, and Randy Montana made this one look easy, but as you'll see during this Lyrics Uncovered video, Beer Never Broke My Heart presented challenges that only three veteran hit makers could navigate. Do you think they pulled it off? Share your opinion of Beer Never Broke My Heart in the comment section below. Let's start with the hook. Singleton says Luke brought the title to the right, which took place on the road while he was still playing clubs in 2017. Quickly, they decided to bookend the chorus with long neck, ice cold beer never broke my heart, and filled in the middle with temporary gibberish. They then learned about Luke's own trials with love and heartbreak and decided diamond rings and football teams would be a good fit. The last two lines are songwriter lines, meant to pull in a more sensitive audience, as well as satisfy a writing group that recognized they weren't about to change the world with their message. More important than what Luke sings is how he sings it, however, and Singleton addressed that next. Thumbs up this video if you can't wait to watch Luke perform this song live this year. It takes one hand to count the things I can count on is Singleton's favorite lyric of the song. It's familiar, almost borrowed from a classic country song that no one can identify. The next line changes the second time through, and it's here the group spent the most time. I've had conversations with other songwriters too over that first one. They go, why didn't you rhyme that? I was like, what do you mean? We did rhyme it. <laughs> I thought we did. Oh, uh, Luke speak, you did. In Luke accent, speak, you know? we did, yeah, yeah. Pay attention to how the pre-chorus pulls you in before the heavy cadence of the chorus hits you with a wall of sound. Credit producer Scott Moffat there, but all three writers knew what they were doing. Singleton says they spent so much time here because the transition from verse to chorus was so important. Singleton admits they are almost checking the boxes of what makes a country song, but since it's so on brand for Luke, no one minds. There are stories behind each line. For example, it was Randy Montana's fishing story that inspired the largemouth bass line. They wrote it figuring they'd change it all later. We just wanted it to feel good. It just needed to feel good. We had the chorus, and you go, man, are we gonna beat this? Like, we're, There's a reason oh, okay. that you're checking those boxes, so because they're the right boxes. Beer Never Broke My Heart is a heartbreak song if you want it to be. Like so many of Luke's songs, there's something personal just below the surface, and in writing this song, the group recognized they needed to explain why he was singing about beer being among the select things that never let him down. We talked a little bit about his, you know, uh, an old relationship of his and how that went and, and how it worked. And I guess so it is pretty specific to him mm -hmm. uh, in hindsight. Of course, Luke is from North Carolina, so while it's not quite fair to qualify this as a song about an old Carolina girlfriend, it's safe to say it's personal. Luke first started playing the song soon after it was finished and delivered memorable performances of it at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville's Bridgestone Arena in 2018. It was part of a plan. Beer Never Broke My Heart. It's a great song. You gotta do something song. with that, man. It's a great song. It's a huge hit. It's the name of the tour, so hint, hint. Singleton says he and Randy Montana didn't expect it to be as big immediately as it was, with nearly every radio station in America playing it right off the bat. But he says he thinks Luke did, adding that Combs has an intuition that's borderline creepy. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you're always first to learn about breaking country music news and the stories behind country music's biggest hits. Here's a couple more videos we think you'll love.